like a theme show. Yeah, anyway. it does. But you're here to cook. Yes. And what are we going to cook today? Well, you know, Daryl and I are vegetarians, mm -hmm. and Daryl is a, a kind of a health food, or very much a health food nut. We're going to cook a vegetarian main dish that I call Rice Creole Vegetarian Style. Great. Perfect for our audience. Okay, I look forward to that. All right. Also on today's show... And you know... Ah, look at that. Now, there are very special ingredients that all come together to make a hit record, and my next guest literally has them all. From Love Will Keep Us Together to her newest release, More Than You Know. She knows how to turn vinyl to gold. Today, she's here with another set of special ingredients for one of her favorite recipes on our cookbook. Please welcome Miss Tony Tennille. With all the traveling you and Daryl do, uh, do, you, do you get a chance to cook? I mean, I guess if you're in one place long enough, you have a kitchen and so forth. Yeah, whenever we go someplace, we're going to stay a couple of weeks, like a Vegas engagement or a Lake Tahoe engagement, then we always get a place with a kitchen. Yeah. Daryl is a health food nut, and we're both vegetarians, and there are a lot of restrictions on what he will eat, so it's better if we do the cooking. What was the biggest difference when you went vegetarian, or has it been a long, I mean, have you done it all your life? Oh, no, I've been a vegetarian for 12, almost 13 years yeah. now. The, the biggest big difference was I, I began to feel more energetic. I felt much lighter and mm -hmm. uh, just had a lot more energy. It's the strangest thing because I, I never believed it. I only did it because I was in love. <laughs> you know, I was in love with him, so I did what he oh, wanted and I, it worked out well. Yeah. Now, we just played a little sample of your latest album, More yeah. Than You Know. Yeah. I guess we're, we're coming back to the standard. Are, we are, yeah. and I'm so thrilled. Linda Ronstead yeah. didn't do too bad. Linda, she... listen, bless her heart, she opened the door for yeah. me. But I'm so glad. It's dedicated to Madame Tennille. Would you explain that? Madame Tennille is my mother. Catherine Tennille, and yeah. we call her Madame Tennille because she's a Leo the Lion, yeah. and she is the queen around here. Well, good. Time. Well, you're the queen around here today. <laughs> all right. So let's get started with uh, one of your favorite recipes, and what is it? Well, it's called Vegetarian Rice Creole. Mm -hmm. It's one of Daryl's favorite dishes. When in doubt, make him Vegetarian Rice Creole, and he's happy for a long time. All right. Well, let's get, let's get you started the right way here. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. This right. matches my outfit. Oh, Can does I it? keep oh. this? Sure. All that's right. yours. Look at well, the guest chef. Isn't that great? Let's do it this This is a little loose. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Okay, you do. There. All right, there oh, we, we go. tighten it up, see? All right, well, what there. you do is you first start out with olive oil. And yeah. I don't have a mound, so I just pour things in. Everybody knows that. Oh, you've yeah. got some in there. Heat it up oil. already. Okay. All right, you have onions, uh, green pepper, and celery, and you want to cut them up chunky. Daryl likes things chunky. He doesn't I've... like little minced, tiny things. Yeah, I've heard that about it. Yeah, he likes chunky. Hey, no, no offense. All right. So you start out with the onions. I'm going to speed all this up because yeah. of the time, but you put your onions in first, and you want to saute them in this olive oil until they begin to get golden. You don't want them to turn brown or burn. Mm -hmm. And as they begin, pretend they turn golden. They're okay. starting to turn. Then you're going to add your green pepper, cut nice and chunky. You're going to add your celery. Right. Okay. And you're going to put a top on this, and you're going to let it cook and steam up for a little while. Okay. We won't do that now, but that's what you want to do. Right. As they begin to get tender, as they've sauteed, watch your heat doesn't get too hot because okay. you don't want it to, to brown on you. All right. You're going to take fresh tomatoes, and I like the pear-shaped Italian tomatoes. If you can get those fresh, they are so sweet, nothing can match it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pour in your fresh tomatoes. Oh, that's just brimming with vitamins. Oh, it's brimming with vitamins. I'll tell you, it is a complete and perfect protein, mm -hmm. just like a piece of meat. Okay. If you wanted to substitute for meat. So then you're going to put this over, put the top over, and let the uh, tomatoes cook down. And right, let everything cook down and become tender. Now, you will find that this will liquefy a lot. And a, yeah, lot of a lot of juice, liquid in there. A lot of juice will come out of this. And you're going to add tomato sauce right out of a can. Just, uh, it's better if you can get the kind with no salt. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband doesn't like any salt of, at all in his food, but I haven't gotten past that yet. I add yeah. mine later. So you're going to add your tomato sauce. And you be the judge as to whether you've got a soupy enough texture here for rice to cook in it. Now, obviously, I can see we'd want to add some more if we were really... Oh, some more liquid. Yeah, you'd uh -huh. want to add some more liquid, so right. you've got a thick soupy thing happening. Now, we want to season this, yes. okay? Fresh basil, nothing can beat it. If you're growing it in the garden, put in your fresh basil that you've chopped up. Okay, you want the juice of half a lemon here. Why don't you hold all that right. for me? I just, oh yeah. Juice down here? Well, that's all right, you do okay. it this way. Okay, you add your half a lemon. Now, here's the bite to this dish. Cayenne pepper. Oh. It's very hot. 
Okay, so you have to watch it. Don't put too much in, but I love it hot, so I'm going to dump a handful in here. Not literally. Ooh. That looks good. All right, trust okay. me, it won't be bad. Now, I would think, since this has all been sort of make-believe, we don't want to yeah. put the rice in because we're really going to spoil it. Right, we're going to spoil what we've got here. Yeah. But you will want to, for don't forget this. This what is, is a little spike. It's called spike. It's a seasoning that... Uh, That's uh, kind of a natural seasoning. Yeah, yeah. natural seasoning yeah. that health people use. It's very good. And I add just a little bit of spike in okay. there. Well, and then you cook it down. We'll put this on. All right. Cook it down now. Of course, you understand that the rice then goes in there and uh, it right. goes in for how long? For oh, it usually takes about 50 minutes for the rice to cook down, depending on whether you use long grain or short grain. And you can use either one, but make sure it's brown rice because it retains all its all right. nutrients. Now, once that is done, uh -huh. you take it out of there. You take it out. You put it in a casserole dish. Yeah. You sprinkle a very sharp grated, that you've grated cheddar cheese over the top. Be generous with the cheese. Put it under the broiler until it's bubbling and okay. then serve. And we just happen to have that right here. Good. Here we go. Oh, I love the drums. It's great. There it ah. is. Ta-da. All right. It, now. It makes a wonderful main dish. Steam up some broccoli or whatever happens to be in season okay. with fresh vegetables. If you'll uh, fix me a little piece, I'll get all ready for this. Oh, okay. you're going to eat this? Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. What if you don't like it? Do you ever huh? tell people you don't yeah. like what they cook? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. now, I want you to feel... Oh, what is this? Well, I just want you to feel at home. I do. But I'm missing the hat. Uh, I couldn't find the hat. Right. And I can't see. All right, should I do this for me, what? too? I mean, you don't want to eat by yourself. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, okay. boy. They did a good job. Okay. <laughs> Real good, Gary. All right. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, I have a sailor hat next time. I've heard you're crazy about sailors. No, well, let me just grab this fork over here. All right, okay. now. I'll let before. you. Yes. I'm going to tell the folks how to get this recipe. Okay. Oh, right. please do. If you'd like a copy of this recipe, simply write to volume 40, our magazine, Box A, Studio City, California, 91604, about four to six weeks for delivery. And, of course, include a dollar to cover postage and handling. And you get the whole month's recipes. Okay, here we go. Okay, and it's Rice, cheap, Rice, vegetarian, mm -hmm. and I love the cheese on top. Mmm. I'm going to take this home with me. It's good, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's wonderful. Here.